so in this example, um, just like I did for the last example, just like I did for the last example, the first thing you guys need to do is identify the LCD. Now, in this case, in this case, you're going to want to find the product. Okay, so uh, you guys can please stop that. So in this case, the LCD is simply going to be the product. 2x minus 4 times 3x plus yeah. 7. It's just going to be the product of the two denominators. Now, what do we do? We take that product and we multiply it by every single term, like I told you in the last example. So it's just like the last example. You multiply everything by those two terms. So I have 3x plus 7 times, oh, I'm sorry, the whole LCD. Three, 2x minus, minus 4 times 3x plus 7. So, you will, but what's going to happen is, here's what happens. So you take your LCD, Jake, you take your LCD and you multiply it by both terms in the numerator. Now what happens is since you have the same term in the denominator and in the numerator, they don't cancel out, they divide to 1. Over here, you have 3x plus 7 in the denominator and 3x plus 7 in the numerator. So those divide to 1. Now we're left with 3 times 3x plus 7 is equal to 5 times 2x minus 4. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have, please, please, now we have an equation. Now we have an equation that we can solve using the method that we know. We first need to do apply distributive property. And therefore, we have 9x plus 21 equals 10x minus 20. Now we need to determine what side of the, where do we want to get the x's. We have x's on the left side and the right side. So we need to pick a side to put the x's. It doesn't matter which side you want to put them on. I always like to put them on the side, though, that they're going to be positive. So I'm going to subtract the 9x on both sides. Therefore, I now have 21 equals x minus 20. Now I need to get the x by itself. So I see the x is being subtracted by 20. So I add 20. So I have 41 equals x. Again, as I mentioned, you take your solution and you plug it back into both denominators to make sure it does not equal 0. Well, in both of these, I don't need to plug them in. In both of these examples, you guys can see it's not going to equal 0. So therefore, that is our solution. Now, I told you guys, I told you that the easiest way to